So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit your front page. As you can see, I've just come back to the dashboard. Uh, every time you log in, you'll be presented with the dashboard. So if we just go to pages, click on all pages. Now, every page that we want must be built with Elementor. This is Elementor checkout, uh, sorry, cart built with Elementor. And if we come down here, we can see this is our front page because it's allocated. We have told WordPress that that is our front page. So now there's different ways that we can access this front page. The way I personally like to do it is if we hover over, we need to edit with Elementor. So I right click and then open in a new tab. And as you can see, it's gonna load the page here. But there's another way that what we can do is we can click edit, which will actually load the page the WordPress version of the page, okay? And then we have to click Edit with Elementor. So I simply just prefer to right click, open with Elementor, and then it loads up here. And so here we go here. So the beauty of Elementor is that every page that is built with Elementor basically functions the exact same way. It looks completely different, but the functionality of Elementor is still there, which is phenomenal. So this is your, this, this little purple button here, as we see where we go edit section, that is what we call a row. So if we come down here, this is again, as you can see here, we've got a row. Here's some products here, uh, again, built as a row. And we come down here and this is built as a row. So everything that you build with Elementor will be built with rows. So if we click plus here, there's your rows there. So we could add six columns, one, two, three, four, five, six. You could have six different items. That's kind of what we did at the top here with this, this row here, where we've got three columns, you see. So now this is where the design comes, So which is fun, because now if we click this little section here, we've got a column. So if we go style, there's your background image there. So if we click choose image, we can just click choose an image from our uh, from our media library, or we could upload an image from our computer if we wanted to. So, and for this tutorial, I am gonna just change the image so you can see, we're gonna go click select, and there's the image change there. We can got some options for the image so we can make it different sizes. Thumbnail, there you go, now it's gone blurry because it's stretched it, so if we click it on full, we can go center, so if we go center left, you see the image, okay, the image might fit the container. There we go, you see bottom left and it moves the it moves the image. So we really do want this to sit into the center. Attachment, we can maybe make it fixed. So that way, you see when we scroll, the, hand, the fingers don't move, the wording moves. Don't really want that on the banner. So what we'll do is we'll go default, then we can see the full image and it scrolls nicely. We want everything to be on no repeat. If we go default or we go repeat, what will happen is, is that if the image is not big enough for this container, then it will actually show the image again. So you'll get two of the same images. So that's why for a banner like this, we always want to show no, uh, say uh, no repeat. Display, uh, display size, this is where we can go auto, as you can see there. So if we had to put this on repeat, see there it is in the background, just like that. It will repeat to fill up the space. So if we go here, contain, there you go, it's contained, but we've still got the ugly white lines there. We can go custom, which I wouldn't recommend because then it, it throws it out on the different uh, um, devices. We can go auto, not a fan of auto. I prefer cover, so it fills it. So now, now to edit the wording, now we've chose the image, we just come and click on the wording here. And we can go welcome to the website. Now, We've done it on the left-hand side here, which we can align down here. We can justify, we can put to the right, we can center it. If we click on style, we can click on typography here. We can change the height of the, sorry, the size of the font. We can change the thickness of it. Uh, we can change the, uh, the, um, the font. So th that's the nice thing. Um, also, if we click on, actually click next to the word website, we can actually delete it there, you see? Just like that, okay. So just I'm making changes to these sections here, but they will not be uh, saved. That we will refresh and uh, it will go back to normal. So now, once you've added this sec edited this section, to edit this section is exactly the same. Click on the column, you go style. There's the the picture there. Click here. We go uh, uh, begin your transformation. 
and there it is there we click on style we've got a bit of a, a, a word spacing see like that we've got rotate we've got the color so we can change the color if we wanted to see there you go now the colors right uh, red it goes back to white you see so we've got and we got a uh, we've got the hover function here which we can make delay we've got animation so we can make it pulse just let it load And the pulse one doesn't want to seem to be loading to so make it grow okay so there we go so when we hover over as you can see the wording goes so we don't really want that because the wording gets cut off so we'll just leave it as no, uh, where it has no animation okay now we're going to scroll down a little bit and you can see we've got a row here so again it's the same kind of row but if we click on the wording we've got a little text editor so now with the text editor as we can see it looks very similar to a word document okay so now with a word document you've got alignment here for the wording we don't want to use these alignments the reason why is that if we had to make the alignment here and then go to style and make the alignment here it won't actually work you see it will cuz that's just that's just a line um, it's just to align it so I can show you so if we click there and we go center and now it's in the center now we go back to style we click left you see it's not working it's not moving okay reason is is because if we go to the the code side it's added this pile of code in you see which we cannot override the um, which this style will not be able to override so if we now we've taken that code in out as you can see it's now uh, um, aligning it the way we want it we can go text color again we can make it any color we want we go to typography we've got a different font here we can change it we can change the size of it like this we can make it bold if we want to like that we can go line height to make it a bit bigger just like this so as you can see the way we've done played around with this wording is the exact same as we would played around with the wording at the top here this section here is just an image an icon that we can just click here and it will supply us all of these different icons that you can choose from you can just choose and select one coming down to this section here if we click on it we can see this is a uh, edit call to action so we've got a uh, choose image we go content there is our content there hello as you can see it shows down here okay just like that we've got a ribbon we can go hello or um, best buy just like that so that they can see that's a good buy then if we go to style down here now we go to content we can actually change again you can change the font the font height we can do the box we've got hover effect so this is if we hover the word in shrinks there's an overlay on it okay so as you can see and then same thing applies here there's your image there's your content if we come to this button down the bottom here okay there it goes this will link to your uh, to your product view the item we go to style and as you can see it's basically repetitive stuff but it when you get into the swing of it you can really customize the site the way you want it we've got the normal and we've got hover so let's just change that hover we'll, to black there you go it's changed there let's change it to bright pink there we go so you could really play around with it and have some fun okay there's your border radius so to get that border we just put the width here we see we can make it as thick as we want just like that we can change the color to this color here okay we'll just undo that and then we'll make this number one again we've got the radius we put that at 50 there you go on the right on the left so now there you go you've got another button that looks a little bit different just like that so it's entirely up to you how you would you would operate that but and as you can see you can play around with it and style it any way you like scroll into the bottom here again click on the row go to style there's your background image here click here a header you put your text in there alignment is done down here see just like that go to style same thing so as you can see it's very similar 
for most of the widgets that we, we call these widgets here but uh, the beauty of it is is that you can really play around and have some fun with it so then go down to the bottom here so now let's say for argument's sake we've made all these changes which we have we've changed this image here we've changed this font we don't like that if we scroll to the bottom here and we go history this will show everything that's been done since we have loaded this page. So let's say we've made the change, we've gone out or load shedding's come in and it's cut out our uh, internet connection and we open up again. What we'll do is we'll go back to revisions here and it will show all the revisions that we did three months ago. So if we click on this one here, it will load, it will change this image. There we go, as you can see, and then we just click update. Now everything that was done originally has been saved. There you go. So all the changes I've made have been set back to the original. Now the, the beauty of Elementor, if we go and open up another page, which just to show you, so we'll exit this one. Actually, we don't need to. We'll close this one and we'll go to contact and we'll edit with Elementor here. We'll let the contact load here. Okay, and as you can see, we hover over, we've got a row again, we've got a title here, which we can change, there's a color there. We've got a form, we can add form sections, so we can duplicate this, as you can see, it can be duplicated there. We've got section over here for a phone, so as you can see, it's, it's basically exactly the same. So, and again, if you make a mistake, you can go back to history, which is, as you can see, I just clicked on them, it's already, or we can go back to revisions. So having fun with Elementor, sorry, using Elementor, you can have a lot of fun with. So don't be scared, and remember, you've got these revisions. The system also takes a backup every night so that you will not have any issues with um, uh making a mistake, saving it, can't upload it, you just pop an email to Josh, Josh will get it restored to the night before, a couple of nights ago. So do not be scared to make any changes. All right, but that is how you edit. I'm just gonna click leave so we don't change the pages, but that is how you edit your pages with Elementor. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to run an import for your products.